Recently, a slippage of the 9700K is showing it being able to have an all-core overclock to 5.5 GHz on just water, and the results are quite spectacular. Welcome to Hardy's Hobbies. So a lot of people, including myself, were very skeptical about 9700K because while the core count was increasing, they were completely removing the function of hyper-threading. So it actually had less threads in the 8700K at 8 cores and 8 threads instead of 6 cores and 12 threads. But Intel has definitely significantly ramped up to speed, which has not only matched the performance of the 8700K, but exceeded it. Take a look at the Cinebench compared to other CPUs. It got 250 for single thread and 1827 for multi thread. That's a lot higher than 8700K and even higher than 2700X. Now, those other CPUs are not overclocked because if they were, we would probably see scores in the 1900s for the 2700X and 1600s for the 8700K. But even despite that, the performance of the 9700K is wildly impressive because you have to remember that the 9700K only has half the number of threads as the 2700X. These high overclocks may be a result of Intel using solder again on the 9th generation, but again, it is too early to confirm anything right now. Now, there were also some leaked prices as well for these CPUs. However, these are almost certainly just placeholders, because the 9700K was priced at 561 euros with a VAT. Now, that's around $650, and you can actually get an 8-core 16-thread CPU from Intel, the 7820X, for almost $200 cheaper at $470, so it really makes no sense at all. It will most likely be the same MSRP as the 8700K, maybe a little bit higher, so pretty much the upper 300s. A price higher than that really just doesn't make sense, because at that point, it would just make more sense to get the 7820X. A stock 7820X performed almost the same as the overclocked 9700K, so at that point, the 7820X would be the clear option. The same retailer leaked the date as well, it says, expected stock date is September 7th, 2018. However, this doesn't align with any other rumors and doesn't match the release date of October last year. So what video cards are suggesting is that this is merely the date that they are going to be receiving stock of the 9th generation CPUs from Intel, but the CPUs themselves won't actually launch till October. We also see a 9700K running on a Z370 motherboard. And if that is true, it is really nice to see that Intel is finally implementing some backwards compatibility again. I'm not really sure if H310 boards will support it, but really if you're getting 9700K, you should at least get a Z370 motherboard. So what exactly does this all mean? Well, the 9700K is about equal with the 2700X in terms of multi-thread performance, but it's significantly higher in single-thread performance. So what that would mean is that it will completely beat the 2700X in terms of gaming performance, and people focused on just gaming would definitely go for the 9700K over the 2700X. And a plus point is that the 9700K won't be too much more expensive than the 2700X. We will probably see the same price gap as we are seeing right now with the 8700K and 2700X. But then again, you won't be getting a good stock CPU cooler and you won't be able to overclock with lower level boards. That is something to keep in mind as well. Also, this may lead to AMD launching the 2800X which would pretty much be identical with 2700X, but be able to overclock to 4.5 GHz or more. Now, the 9700K is not going to even come close to fighting with Ryzen in terms of value. Ryzen is definitely still the clear winner in terms of that. However, 9700K does seem to be a monster in terms of gaming performance, and it will most likely claim the crown from the 8700K as the best gaming CPU available on the market. So, if you're considering the 8700K, then you may want to wait. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you think AMD is actually going to bring out our 2800X? And what do you think about the 9900K? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys liked this video, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.